This day was going to be perfect, the kind of day in which I dreamed since I was small. But instead of having cake with all my friends to celebrate my... <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez. I'm coming at you today with an Earth 2 update video. There is a couple things to go over. Uh, if you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Everyone's hot. Where's Dashy down below? Uh, so, E2, bunch of questions to go over and a bunch of concerns to go over. I will go over everything. Type your comments down below. Patreon as well. Uh, will Essence auto-gather or will you have to manually mine on each of your tiles or properties? Uh, we're actually unclear about that because they say that each property will have Essence and then also a resource to mine. The mine you'll actually have to do manually. You'll have to do that by yourself. But for the Essence, we're not 100% sure if that is just going to auto-generate and it's just going to auto-populate in your... Uh, in your window, in your profile. So, oh, to be continued. Are EPLs going to be like web domains where the shorter names will get snapped up first? Absolutely. Those are going to, I am going, like everything. What is uh, Pokemon, Pocket Monsters, where you have Jirachi, every single name of every single Pokemon is probably going to be done. It's going to have phones, telephone, Lady Gaga, Beyonce. You're going to have, again, it is next to impossible to trademark actual words. Again, you can, um, you could trademark the Bitten Apple, the Nike swoosh, but you could you could buy a shoe factory and call it Nike or Nike, whatever you want. You just can't have the swoosh and you can't use it saying like, oh, buy these shoes, they're Nike shoes. You can't do that, um, but you can call it whatever you want. Again, you can't, can't really get words. Like Donald Trump tried it with You're Fired. Um, I forget the announcer's name, but he tried it with Let's Get Ready to Rumble. You, you can't just uh, do that words. Words are, words are forever. Um, Will we be able to customize our portals the same way we customize our profiles? Yeah, a hundred percent. That's going to be something where that's going to be, I think, a very big aspect of the game. Oh, this portal comes in a leopard print. This portal has Pokemon on the side of it. That's going to be huge, in my opinion. Um, how big will portals be? That was a really good question because you don't want the portal to take up, uh, you know, half the size of your tile, and you're probably going to have. It's going to have to be big enough, at least for people. But also, if you can't have magically carry around all of your resources and everything and all of your items and loot, you're probably going to have something that, like, maybe an RV or something that you're going to want to carry that. So the portal is going to have to be big enough. So whatever you're uh, hauling, whether it's a truck or whatever, is going to fit through. Um, I've listed my property for 30% off and no one's buying. What do I have to list it for to sell? Okay, so I'm not sure of the... I, I asked about the... What type? What class is it? Is it class one, two, three, or four? Uh, and where is it located? Because if you have a fifty dollars tile in middle of nowhere in Indiana, and it's class three, probably not going to get too many people to buy it. But if it's, and that's probably why. Again, I'm not sure where it is. But if it's a class two, even, and if it's somewhere that's relatively popular and not in the middle of nowhere, um, you're probably going to, yeah, thirty percent would probably be fine. Uh, in twenty, like when I was buying in Antarctica. I granted it was um, class one at the time. It was like 11% off. Buy, buy. I was buying all day. Uh, I'm actually really curious to see what Antarctica class one tiles are selling for now. So comment down below if you know uh, what they are. What did Shane mean when he mentioned class five the other day? Okay, so answer. For those of you wondering what this is referencing, uh, let me read you part of Shane's announcement from the other day in case you missed it. Quote, We've spent a lot of time over a lot of time on the tile system over the last few weeks, uh, and we have found a structure that will allow us both to support the high value of the class tiles and to provide permanently affordable tiles in the future. The class tiles will then not have all the advantages of the high class tiles, classes one through five, uh, but players will be able to adapt their functionality very precisely to their own needs. End quote. Now, as per the FAQ. This reads something a little bit different. Quote, out of the 5.1 trillion tiles spanning the surface of Earth, 50 billion of them are for class 1 through 4. Each one of them are a kind of collectible item, end quote. So there's two conflicting posts, and I'm going to go out on a limb and probably say that um, he just did a typo. But because he didn't make a correction when he very well could have, what this means is that, okay, 50 billion are 1 through 4. There are many, many, many other billions out there, so what's that going to be? Okay, well, it's probably going to be something along the lines of maybe have class 5 for another billion tiles, or uh, he just mistyped. Either way, that's just something that if you do have a class 5, 
remember, class four, there's no land income tax. But for class five, maybe there you can have a tile, there's no land income tax, and there's no other benefits at all. Meaning like the other benefits where people are mining or gathering loot on your on your tiles, maybe that just means that you don't get a piece of it. They get everything if you have class five tiles again. We'll, we'll see. I have a few tiles, uh, next question. I have a few tiles in docking area as I thought it would be good for shipping, but uh, if there are no man-made uh, things, will I just be, will I just own water tiles and is a water tile a good investment? So uh, probably uh, depends on which dock though, because remember the devs have said that they do have future plans in which they will bridge a link between Earth 1 and Earth 2, and they will offer more revenue opportunities for popular locations. Probably not any private docks, but picture, um, but picture docks or piers that are in famous movies or TV shows. Pretty much Marvel's Daredevil comes to mind. You know, Punisher, Jessica Jones, basically anything invo involving Marvel that has boats in it. But speaking of famous locations, don't just think big action places like New York City where the Avengers live or the beaches of Normandy from World War II. Remember, there are going to be people from all walks of life focusing on artsy type of places. The mountains in Salzburg from The Sound of Music. That was really cool when I went there. If you ever go to Austria, it's really fun. Or even the Alps from the movie Heidi. <laughs> Shout out to my New York Jets and Oakland Raiders fans on that one. Um, for those of you that don't know, on 17 November 1968, Jets were playing uh, the Oakland Raiders, and within the final two minutes of the game, it was cut short to show the children's special, Heidi, and the Raiders scored twice in 42 seconds, and it was called the greatest comeback that no one's ever seen. So there are probably some very disgruntled football fans who probably want to bomb whoever holds the location in the Alps. Um, I thought that was pretty funny. Um, speaking of disgruntled, uh, I do have a veteran friend of mine that wants to make some really dark humored ads for her land. Now, just so you guys know, you'll be able to advertise your land in Earth 1, but most likely there will be some rules on how to do it. Because remember, the ads that we make can be listed on the Earth 2 website. They'll be on the main page uh, for the really good ones. So if your advertisements are too dark or raunchy, you can still do them. They just won't be allowed on the main page, most likely. Everyone comment down below what type of advertisements you want to make for your properties. I myself would like to make skits. That would be really fun. I could picture some people trolling a lot also. Anyone remembers those GoDaddy commercials with the beautiful women pretending to disrobe and then telling you to go to go to GoDaddy.com to see the rest? Those are fantastic trolls. But for those wondering what type of ads my friend was thinking about, just YouTube or Google Vet TV. It was those type of skits that she was thinking of. Um, a list of concerns that somebody had. I figured I'd go over. There are five in total. Economy. The developers said they do have big economic centering on this game. Planned, um, they have it planned out once the gameplay comes out as well in Phase 2. Remember that players with the most land will be able to sell their excess resources to other players. For anyone that needs water or snow or ice, I got you in Chavez Topia. Uh, comment down below what types of resources you think you will mine based on your land. Number two is customization of buildings. The person was asking, well, I need a degree from MIT to build. No. All of these buildings will be built with resources, and the building process will most likely be uh, pretty simple and not too complicated, just because this game is meant for everyone, and you're going to have kids as well. So, Number three was NFTs. Based on one of Shane's recent tweets where he tags NFTs in a hashtag, I'd say evidence. all the evidence that we know now points to the fact that each tile will be its own NFT, Remember, each tile is a unique collectible item as per the FAQ. What does that sound like? <laughs> Sounds like NFTs to me. Uh, number four, regulation on how we make money. Basically, everyone should pay their taxes. All I'm going to say about that. Uh, number five, what makes things popular? Okay, well, there is no science or logic to what will be popular. If a frame of Arthur, the anteater from the 90s, can be a popular meme, the one where it's just the fist, and Harambe can become one of the greatest memes of all time... I'm pretty sure nothing is off the table as far as popularity, but that does bring me to another point. But for the next point, there are going to be millions of people playing this game, and there are 50 billion tiles that can be explored. Again, classes 1 through 4. Class 5, we're not too sure of yet. But I will do my best to report on what people are building, but odds are you're going to have to advertise a little bit. You could build something really great, but it won't be seen unless you do a little work. Again, there's only so much I can go to. As far as the hardcore people that we have right now, the couple thousand people that watch my videos, yeah, I'll, I'll by all means do all yours, but as that goes from 2,000 viewers to 
twenty thousand subscribers, I'm all I'm already um, taking hours to get back to people. So um, when I say, "Oh, can you cover my land? Can you cover my land?" I would love to cover every single thing. I'll have videos for days, but unfortunately, uh, it's just not possible with the time that I don't have right now. Um, so <laughs> contact me if you want me to. Uh, if, obviously, Chavez Topia will be first, just because that's my mega city. And then I'll probably have one video each day from Chavez Topia and another from another part of the world. Um, let me know what you guys want. I love you all. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Goodbye. Meow, 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 meow. Everyone comment what you like about Ponytown. Meow, 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 meow. Meow.